Hi folks, Mr. Dell here. We are looking at a word problem and we're going to use a 5D process for solving, also known as the guess and check process. So this is actually from uh, CPM course two um, and it's a classwork question uh, uh, from section 5 dash or 5.3.3 uh, number 5 dash uh, 116. So we have a, with the 5D process, the whole the first thing is, is you if you can, you would write some describe or draw um, what you um, read or somehow take little notes if you can. So let's read this and see what we can come up with. So Travis and Angela were playing a guess my numbers game. Angela told Travis, I'm thinking of two positive numbers. The difference of my numbers is four. And the product of my numbers is 96. What are my numbers? Help Travis find Angela's numbers. So if I think the, the main information here is the difference of the numbers is four. So we can say we have, um, you know, number, first number. So I'll go number A. And if I would subtract number A from number B, the difference would be four. That's one of the notes that I can see there. The other one is it says the products of the numbers is 96. So that number A multiplied by that number B would be 96. So those are two really important pieces of information as we do this. So if I'm going to do my guess and check table, the next thing is the define is what the piece is. You have to figure out what are you, what are you, in your table, what are you going to be guessing on, right? What is that first thing. So, well, obviously I'm going to, I'm going to be guessing on my first number. And then from that, I can come up with what my second number would be. And then once I have those two numbers, then I'm going to do the do part, which is the check. The do is the check part. Here's the guess. And this is the check, right? So with these two, and let's just, let's just flow through this. Let's try a number. Let's say I pick, uh, I pick 10. If I pick 10, I want, I'm looking to say the difference of those two numbers is four. So 10 minus six is four, right? So I would, if I choose 10, then the second number has to be six because the difference has to be four. And then my check, my check is going to be that product is the fact that the first number times the second number is equal to 96. So let's take those two that I have now. 10 times six, it equals 60. So that's not 96, it's too low. So that means we guess, and that's where this comes into play. This is the declare, this is the decide. You decide what to do from here, right? So because it's too low, I know now I've got to go back up here and pick something higher. So let's try 12. So 12, if I pick 12, the difference between 12 and uh, minus four now is eight. So 12 minus 4 is 8, so let's check it. 12 times 8. Well, 12 times 8 is, oh, look at that, 96. So that's it. So that process of guess and check is uh, creating the table, knowing what you're going to be guessing on, and how to find the, the, the next values in order to come up with my final answer. So the last thing we do is declare in this 5D process. What we do is we declare the answer, right? So they wanted us to find find Angela's numbers. So we can say the declare is Angela's numbers are 12 and 8. And that right there would be the answer. Okay. There you go.